Hello everyone, this is COADB.com or the Coat of Arms database and today we are briefly going to discuss several different coats of arms in the Watts family. The first is blazoned azure three broad arrows or feathered argent on a chief of the second as many men's heads cooped in profile proper crined sable. Crest a greyhound sage in argent collared azure studded or sustaining a broad arrow of the third plumed proper. This was the arms of the Watts family of Cotlington in County Somerset, England. And we know that Nicholas Watts, Esquire of Cotlington, was alive in the year 1623. He was the son of Hugh and the grandson of William Watts of the same place. Next, a similar coat of arms that belonged to one Edward Watts, Esquire of Hanslope Park, who died in the year 1830. And here we see a picture of Hanslope Park. Next, ermine on a chief gules, a bezant between two billets or crest, a lozenge gules between two wings expanded or. This was granted to Edward Watts and his brother Montague Watts of Blakeslee County, Northamptonshire, England, around the year 1614. They were sons of William Watts, born in Dorset, and grandsons of Thomas Watts, Esquire. The family is said to descend from John Watts of Eston in County Worcestershire, who lived around the year 1347, the son of Simon Watts, who is said to traditionally descend from a French soldier of Bortion who accompanied King Stephen into England in the year 1135 AD. Similar coat of arms with quarterings. This was that of the family of Hawksdale Hall in Cumberland, England. They descended from George Watts, third son of Coningsby Watts, who was the third son of Edward Watts, Esquire of Blakesley in 1615. And one member of this family was Reverend William Watts of Queen's College in Oxford, grandson of the above George Watts. And here we see the family home, or the hall. Next, similar coat of arms, this one being from, according to Burke Hockwald in County Norfolk in the year 1610. Uh, we know one Arthur Watts was a gentleman of that area and he died in 1587. Um, another author mentions it might be a, uh, an error and suggests that it is Horstead and not Hockwald and that the family is that of John Langley Watts, the mayor of Norwich in 1774. Next, ermine on a chief gules, three arrows conjoined, one in pale and two in satire, points downwards or barbed and flighted argent between two lions rampant of the last. Crest, a greyhound sage in argent collared azure and resting the dexter paw upon a portcullis or. This was the arms of Francis Watt, Esquire of Parliament Street and St. Vincent Square in Westminster, and he was a printer of the London Gazette. Next, similar coat of arms, we have ermine on a chief sable, an annulet between two billets or crest, a lion's paw erect and erased sable charged with an annulet between two billets in pale or. And we know this belonged to a Watts individual from Norwich in County Norfolk, England, and was in existence by the year 1664. Similar coat of arms. This one has two Bs and a more elaborate crest. This was the arms of Sir James Watts, born 1804, Knight of Abney Hall, County Chester, Justice of the Peace, youngest son of John Watts of Manchester by Elizabeth, his wife. He served the office of mayor of Manchester in 1857 and received the honor of knighthood in the same year. 
that's the family home, Abney Hall. Next, Argent Two Bars Azure and Chief Three Pellets. This was the arms of the Watts of Thundridge in Hertfordshire, England. John Watts, Esquire of Ware, living in the year 1634, married Mary Gardner of Thundridge and had issue with her. This family descended from Sir John Watts, Lord Mayor of the City of London around the year 1606, who was the son of John Watts of Buntingford, and the arms was granted, or the arms granted, or crest granted in 1597. Next, Argent on a fest vert between three eagle's heads erase sable as many crosses Sarcelli of the first. This was found in London and believe that to be the family of Roger Watts of Somerset, born in the year 1520, who was the son of John Watts, born 1485, a prominent grocer in London, England. Next, a rather elaborate coat of arms and crests that I'm not going to fully read, but this was born by a man named Jesse Russell of Staffordshire, who was the sheriff there and a soap boiler by trade. He assumed the additional surname and arms of Watts, shown here, in addition to that of Russell in the year 1817, when he married a daughter named Mary of David Pike Watts, a wine merchant. Or three bucks pass in Azure. This was the arms of Dr. William Watts, a fellow of Lincoln College at Oxford and the rector of Walsingham, and he lived in the 18th century. And next, Argent, a fest gules in chief, two crosses crosslet of the last. If you enjoyed this video and would like to get your genealogy done, find out who your ancestors were, and learn whether or not they owned a coat of arms, please visit us at coadb.com, link in the description. Thank you very much.